Okay, welcome and uh, my name is James Nipo. And today we are going to talk to talk uh, and to see about uh, this topic called the organic chemistry. Without wasting the time, let's proceed. Let us know which means by the terms organic. Organic refers to the substance which originated from the plants and animal remains. This is a definition of plant or of food. Of whom? Organic. The substance which is natural from the body of the living organism, such as plants and animals, is grouped into the group of organic compounds. But those substances which came from minerals are referred to as inorganic compound. For example, you can, of organic compound is petroleum from crude oil, the food, the food you eat, such as starch, glucose, protein, and the other product like kerosene, alcohol, diesel, petrol. These are examples of organic compounds. Most of the substances are made of carbon atoms. For example, so when you hit dry wood, completely the black residue seen in due to the presence of carbon atoms in it. In a contrast, in an organic compound contains very small quantity of carbon while not having it all around 25% of all global substances are inorganic carbon. Examples of inorganic compounds are all oxide, for example, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and aluminum oxide, all carbonate, calcium carbonate. All hydrogen carbonate, for example, sodium carbonate and carbonate. All chloride is hydrochloric. And now, this time, let's see the properties of organic and inorganic compound. Let me talk about this. Sometimes, the specific properties of sodium chloride and the, the exan, which is organic compound. Are listed in, in the following comparison type of organs in the compound. Okay, now let us see the physical properties. The melting point organic compounds have Latin rose melting point, have low melting com- point. Most organic compounds are insoluble in water but are soluble in organic liquids. Most organic liquids are less dense than water and like oil they float on top of water if we attempt to dissolve them. This means if we take the for instance the oil and you put in water it is less dense we will see float on the top of water. Organic compounds are flammable, some are highly flammable, some like gasoline from explosive mixture which air must not be used in the open from. Properties of organic compounds are largely the fact that they are composed of molecules with the covalent bond in all compounds only water. Uh, uh, now let's see the source of um, organic compound. Yeah, there is a three source of organic compound, which are petroleum and coal. These are business provided compounds which can be used in the sink. Plants and animals. The first one in source is crude oil. Another is plants and animals. Another is synthetic organs compounds such as one compounds are thyroid for example, neuron, nylon, and the polyesters. Applied, let, let us see application of organic chemistry. It includes the following. The first one is applied in food. It is in, it applied in the food used by human beings and other living organisms. For example, protein, carbohydrate, and lipid. Application in the fuel industry in the production of fuel 
application in the pharmaceutical industry in, in the drugs applied in the plastics, plastics material production industry okay here now let me go to another subtopic which is known as cracking cracking this is the process of breaking down the complex compound from the simplest compound which is more useful example for complex compounds in a simple simplest compound example i have tiny heating if we if we have tiny you will heat it will produce pentane plus ethane types of cracking thermo cracking cracking which heat is used to break down heat catalytic cracking the cracking that catalyzed is used to break down the complex compound from the simple compound which is more useful Okay, let's go to another which is called the distillations of crude oil. Crude oil refining is a group of industrial facilities that turns crude oil and other inputs into a finished petroleum product. The final capacity refers to the maximum amount of crude oil designed to flow into the distillations unit of refinery, also as crude oil unit. From this crude oil, we can get the bottle gas, we can get the gas, gasoline, nectar, kerosene, diesel, shale oil. This means we will undergo the distillation process. When you have got, if you have got, or see the place where we we distract the fuels you can see that i i want to mean that if you have if this is good oil the good oil it it took from the from the backgrounds long distance and then it it it, it heated for the different temperature up to up to 400 temperature so so when he, the cold oil it be heated the 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 same the sum of oil will be removed according to their to their according to their range of temperature for instance for instance the cold the 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 coal the coal will be removed up to 25 centigrade and another is kerosene will be removed out by the 100 temperature Okay, now let's come to hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are organic compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen atoms. For example, methane and the ethane. Each contains atoms of carbon and hydrogen only based on the number of bonds between carbon to the carbon atoms. Okay. Another term is homologous cells. Homologous cells is a series of compounds related to each other. Now let's see the terms that are found in this topic. But if there is here the name of uh, atoms which named 
by their fa- from their family. Here there is methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane. This are uh, becoming from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Which we, for the first uh, four, you can see the first one is, is known as the methane, another is the ethane, zoe, propane, butane, and five of pentane.